Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of Satan? What? Well, armor is a defense mechanism to shield you from the offensive attacks of an enemy. And the scripture just told you and I that we must put this armor on. But then it told us specifically what type of attack that we need to be prepared for. The attack of trickery, because that's what wiles really means. Satan is going to use the lies and the deceit that are in his repertoire to trick you. Oh, God don't love you. Oh, look at you, you're struggling financially. Didn't God say he'd take care of you? Etc. Etc. These are tricks. And you know that old cereal commercial used to say that tricks were for kids. Well, in this situation, we are all children because Satan, he don't discriminate. He will use his tricks against everybody. Well, Ephesians chapter six does not leave us in the dark. Yeah, it said to put on armor, but it begins to break down each bit of the armor that we supposed to have on. And the one we're gonna deal with right now is found in Ephesians chapter six, verse 14. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Okay, so I'm even more confused. I, I, I know that Satan will use trickery against me. We figured that out and that I was supposed to put on some armor. That was clear, but this girding of the loins stuff, what is that all about? Okay, so we don't dress like they used to in Bible day. Men and women both wore a garment that flowed over their body, much like a dress. Now I want you to imagine trying to fight with this dress or this garment on, no pun intended to the ladies. With one hand, you'll be grabbing all that extra cloth of the dress that would perhaps get in the way of your feet maneuvers. You'd be trying to move around and block and defend and have offensive moves, but this garment is getting in your way. One hand is used to kind of grab up that garment, while the other hand is used to hack and block, right? You wouldn't get very far <laughs> fighting like that, okay? And although perhaps some would be successful, the truth is that you wouldn't be successful for that long having to worry about this free-flowing garment getting in your way while you fight. Hmm, in order for you to fight appropriately, you would need to girt your garment. Ah, it's beginning to make sense now. And you would need to fasten your garment in such a way that it is no longer getting in your way. So that while you use your free hand to maneuver and fight, your other arm could be utilized to help you in that maneuvering and not trying to hold up your dress or your garment so that you don't trip over. So this garment in my mind represents the things in this life that get in the way. And often we are not prepared to fight against the tricks of the devil because the tricks that the devil has landed or placed in our way. So again, the Bible says that we must fasten or girt our garments with the belt of truth. Hmm, so when Satan is fighting against me with the trickery of lies, I must defend myself with the weapon of truth. How does that look in a real sense? With my eyes, I may just see that my health is poor, but I have to remember what the Bible says about the truth of my health. And in Isaiah 53, five, God tells me that by his stripes, I am healed. Uh-oh, so I've got truth to gird or fasten my garment with so that when Satan comes to me, and tempts me with the trickery of his lie and says, huh, your health is poor. God don't love you. I've got to remember Isaiah 53, five, and it tells me that I'm healed. With my eyes, it may seem as if life's responsibilities, cares, etc., are drowning me and that I am being burned in the flames of trials and tribulations. But what does the truth of God's word say. Isaiah 43, two, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you cross rivers, you will not drown. When you walk through fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not hurt you. With my eyes, it may seem as if I have 
little financial resources. But again, what does the truth of God's word say? But my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Now let me say this. Yes, you may see poor health. You may see little finances. You may feel pressure from life's demands. This is where faith in God and trust in his word comes in. Because the devil will use what you see, what you feel, to try and trick you into disbelieving what God has told you. And he is most successful with using what we feel and see to work against us because we are so emotional and we judge everything based on our five senses. The devil is gonna trick you and he's gonna tell you, hey, look, man, that's a lie. Don't you see X, Y, Z? Don't you hear X, Y, Z? Don't you feel X, Y, Z? And you're gonna have to say, no, that's not the reality because the truth is my belt. The truth of what God told me is holding up this garment so that as I fight you, Satan, I can use my energy to block, to, to attack, and to guard myself from this lie, this trick that you're using against me. Yeah, you may be able to manipulate me through what I see and feel, but God has told me to trust in what he said. That's the first bit of the armor that we are to put on. Tune in next time for the continuation of this message.